What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Masquerada. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we presumably go through more conversations and then we find out how our friend got a stutter, I guess. It's because he salted, he salted too hard. He salted deep, and that's what happens when you do that, you can't drink too deeply of the well. Can't do it. Inspitore. Apparently, I'm grabbing my books and I'm leaving. What are you doing? Cicero! What is... My arm, please. Will you please explain yourself? Thank you. Inspitore, what are you... Quiet, please. What is he doing? Scythe. He's creating a fay. What's he done? Amadea, tell it we mean no harm. My Dementica isn't that. Try. E. Scythe. E. Iguan. Tufisgar. Sen Athafuil. Dugog. What's it saying? I... the words that it's using are more archaic than what I've studied. Come on, Amadea, you've got more than that. Ah... Uh, ah, uh, Rish? Sen Ath of Will to Glock. I don't... I don't know. Try harder. Surely there must be something you can... Why... do, do, do you... call? You can understand it. Ask it if it knows about the artifacts. Vila vis treror. Igasatem. Vel. 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 What's it doing? Lost. Bosco, we need to find the artifacts. Ikara treror. Treror. Is. Is. Does it know where they are? Ishas. Ledom dwir. Ledom ifas. Let me go. Let me see. It needs to get its bearings again. We need its word that it will not abandon us. It's a fey, Inspitore. You can't trust it. Yes, we can. It's word. Havar Gershen, tu artesh. Don will atir. On its... On... 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 Yes. Let it go. You're insane. Let it go. To do it. Melroy, will. I hope it knows to keep to shadows. It will be back tomorrow. Yes. Vasco. Good night. He's broken, but he is strong. He will piece himself together, somehow. And he is also right. It's getting very late. Too late for an explanation. I have many questions, Inspitore, but... I'll answer them tomorrow. Good. Then, I suppose we should call it a night. Cal! Something's happened? What is that about? I know better than to pry, sir. No. It's late. Vint, you can spend the night. she wants to see you the head matron doesn't summon her people to the hall of songs unless it has to do with their legacies it's the journal isn't it ha! calm down cow how i am this close to losing everything what are you talking about i don't <sighs> orlana has had one goal since jaxus died to find out how and why 
And this journal has the details. And more. Jaxus wanted to tell the world about us. To use the sail heart as evidence that we do leave legacies behind. That we deserve our space on the singing tree. He was tired of hiding. Of living a lie. Of being safe. He asked me if I would stand with him in this. In fear, I told him that he spoke words of idiocy. That he was being selfish. That night he drank it till he could not see reason. I found his body in the back alleys of a tavern the morning after. Tavern owner said he picked the wrong fight. I'm so sorry. When was this? It's only been a year. But it feels so much longer. And the journal? I wrote in it every day for half a year about the incident, about what I would have done different, about how much I miss him. You could claim ignorance. Say that she wrote the entries to frame you. It won't work. Why? Jaxus gave me this. It's an embellished Dementicate glyph for the sunset. The sunset? As a symbol of the meeting of two entities that were worlds apart, sun and sea, and how beautiful they were together. In the journal, I wrote about how he gave me this tattoo and what it means. The matron will see through the lie if I tell her the journal was fabricated. She will know. And I will lose everything. I will see you tomorrow. I was gonna suggest we go and stab her, but I guess you can go to bed. <laughs> I mean, sometimes somebody's gotta go. Sometimes you gotta eliminate the competition. Just stick them. Prison yard style. Gotta get him with that San Quentin special. He told me what happened with Jax's. That's good. In just the span of over a year, he's lost two of the most important people in his life. And now his legacy is in jeopardy as well. Pardon my language, sir, but damn it. He doesn't deserve this. He's already got enough on his plate with the world looking at people like him the way they do. It's not fair. You shouldn't be drinking. You worry him. <sighs> what are you gonna do, sir? What do you mean? Stand up for him is what I mean. You're not going to let him go through that, are you? Stand up for... Do you know what that means? It means that you'll be there for him. It means that I'll be defying the Hall of Songs. This is the way people like him have been treated for ages. So you believe that it's right the way they treat him? Of course not. Then you'll stand up for him. It's not that simple. I don't see why not. I'm just one man. So what? Who cares if you're one man or a hundred? You believe in something, you fight for it. Simple. And you believe in Cal, don't you? You don't know what you're saying. I'm too young, so I don't matter, is that it? No, Vin, please. I hope you enjoyed your drink, sir. <sighs> man, just everybody's mad at you right now. You're having one of those nights where no matter what you do, everybody's pissed off. I'm going to bed. Harold, this will hurt. Just get it over with. <sighs> Is that the last of them? Yes, Harold. Though, if I might say, the next time you want to heal yourself so rapidly, it would be wise to set the bones right first. I was under dozens of feet of stone. That tends to complicate healing. You're right. I apologize. It was quick thinking. Quite likely saved your life. Dismissed. For the lady. You said he would listen. And he did. Then why is he not here with me? It is part of the plan. 
The Barati are all gone. They did not fall into the grand scheme of things. How could they not? You have told me what we need to do. Unite the city, repair the broken Medea. How does the Barati not accomplish that? You would not understand. Then help me to help me understand why you brought me to such power, only to strip me of it. The next piece is in their hands, and they needed help before they acted. In their hands. The gears are turning, the rivers are flowing. In time, you will see, my child. But till then, you must have faith. Yes, my lady. Odd time for reading. I didn't want to wake the others. You? Just, uh, thinking. So, you did buy it in the end. It's a good book. I'm reading about how our people in the Second Canticle still feared the Masquerines. I suppose you would be interested in that, wouldn't you? What do you mean? It's testament to how knowledge can change the world. The moment you understand the power of something, how it works, what it can do, the way you use it, the way it shapes the world, changes. And here I was, thinking that you hated history. Oh, I do. Just, uh, not the lessons you could get from it. <laughs> fair. Fair. What? Have I got something on my face? No, it's just, uh, the others were right. You are quite different. If I might be honest. I'd like nothing else. When we realized that you weren't with us in the Golden Canvas, I was scared. How thoughtful. The last time I felt that way was when I woke up in the Whispering Streets. After what happened in the White Spire. When you could have helped Invidious. Yes. It's the fear of losing something that matters. And I dealt with it five years ago. By thinking that it would be better never to have anything to lose. Than risk losing it all. Not completely wrong. No. But, Lysandra, for five years, I had the opportunity to be a part of something that was important to me. I denied myself of it, and now I know how much more painful that is. I don't want to do it again. Still, though, you've changed pretty quickly. Cicero, I don't think you know how much effort it takes to be mean. <laughs> You going to stay out? I'd like to read a little more, yes. All right. Good night, then. You finished your thinking? Now I have, yes. Good night, Cicero. Mm, she invited you to read her book with her. You dropped the ball right there, though. That was the part for the witty banter right there. You had like one shot, like Eminem style. It was like bam, 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 bam. Please stay out of this. What is this? A solution. What are you talking about? Oiled cloth. Calden, what are you doing? I've thought about it. Zelia cannot know. I will not let her take the sail heart from me, or Raz's legacy. She cannot know the truth. Calton, do not be foolish. Talk to me, please. I'm sorry, Cicero. Calton, stop! Give it back to me. Put down the flame. I will do it with or without the masquerine. How much of my arm will be left after is up to you. 
Damn it, Calton, don't do this! What else am I supposed to do? Allow them to take everything I have from me? Burning your tattoo away is going to solve nothing! It will invalidate the journal. I will mend my flesh, clean out Jax's room, and there will be nothing they can use against me. You will lose everything you have of him, Calden! I lose either way! At least this will protect the children and my brother's legacy. Razitov, Jaxus, they both would have wanted this. You know that's not true. This needs to stop, Calden. Don't let their deaths be in vain. I'm sorry. You don't deserve to do this to yourself. No one does. What about the Sailheart, the children, Razatov's child? Let them take my song, I don't care. But my brother, he should not pay for my wrongs. There is no wrong to even speak of. If they want to take the Sailheart and your brother's legacy, let them try. Between you and me, I think we can take them on. <laughs> Vin said a sticky little thing last night. But if you believe in something, you fight for it. You raised her well, Calvin. I didn't do it alone. You won't have to let them know. We'll go to the Hall of Songs first, settle this issue with Zelia and Orlana, and then we'll come back. Then it is your turn to tell us everything, yes? It is. Now... Leaving already? Not this time, boys. The two of you should be resting. The Fae hasn't come back yet. And let Calden deal with this by himself. What? Please, Mariner. You were screaming last night. You really thought no one else would hear? You know? Surprise. And Vasco? Yes. Vasco? His metal is impressive. Well, what's going on? He woke me up before dawn, asked for my help. To what? To... To s speak. And? Not perfect. Mind muddled. Language is floating. But better. Vasco, I'm... No. Now is the Mariner's time to share... Uh, I support you. Thank you. Besides, your personal life is your own, as long as it doesn't get in the way of the investigation. And since the investigation is waiting for the return of our supernatural friend... I don't believe this. This world, not always hopeless. I guess not. Come on. I think the coach has space for one more. The others can stay back in case our Fae returns. Man, there's all kinds of conversations to be had. This has been the quietest episode ever for me. Like, I haven't had to do anything. It's basically just sitting here watching the game unfold. I'm sure that's why the... <laughs> I'm sure that's why reception has suffered with this game is because, like, there's no commentary or whatever. It's just... All the game, all the time. There's just so much. I'm surprised how much dialogue is actually in this game. It must have cost him a fortune to make. I'd like to thank you, Marshal, for being so accepting of the Mariner. It isn't so much a feat as you describe it. I'd beg to differ. Supporting Italios isn't quite the most orthodox action. The Luca aren't known for standing up for what is orthodox, Inspiratore. We're known to stand up for what's right. Another verse from the Bright Chorus? No. My father, this time. They're wise words. I only wish more people listened to them these days. We should be getting ready, Inspiratore. Of course. Next. 
Quite eventful these days have been. First our poor friend Salts, and now we learn that another is Talios. You've always been a magnet for the dramatic, you know. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Do thank Lavia for me, if you get the chance. It's sweet of her, taking care of Vasco like that. What can I say? Your friends are our friends, Cicero. Even the Mariner? <sighs> I was from Rune, Cicero. Our customs are rather different. Besides, if there's one thing living in this city does to people, it's open minds. You don't survive long in a world of fire and ice with such narrow vision. <laughs> You'd be surprised. It was nice, what you did for Calden. He's gone through enough. It would be awful to make things any harder for him. Do you have something else on your mind? You sound a little distracted. Well, I do, actually. That Fae that you created last night. How? Kyrie's explained it all to us. No, I meant the Scythe. What were you thinking of? What did you use? <laughs> it's not the shortest story. Are you certain you want to hear it? I'm sure we can spare a little time. When I was younger, I had been Contadami. I had always thought the portieri guards that patrolled the spire had the ripest purses. I haunted the streets around it like a spectre. Me and my fruit knife. You? A cut purse? I did not learn all my skills from the registry, no. One day, I got caught. And the portieri dragged me by my heels up the grand stairs. When we came to the top, I had my breath taken from me. Sprawled out before me was the city that I had hated for cursing me and my family with poverty. But at that moment, from that vantage point, it suddenly seemed... beautiful. The guards turned to me and asked me what I was doing. I turned to them and said, I want to be a portieri. What did they do then? Club me over the back of my head. <laughs> no, they didn't. I woke up in a cell, told my story to the Valencia over time, and the rest is a story of history. And you used that? That moment at the top of the stairs, looking out of the city. I was remembering the wonderment, the drive to make it better, the awe at its beauty, the curiosity at its secrets. And then that fay materialized. I see. Thank you for sharing. Come on. Let's get ready. Apparently summoning a Fae uses the same mechanics as like flying in Neverland. You just gotta have it locked in. One. W one. Again. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Th uh, th three. Again. Th 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 three. Th 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 uh, the veil! It's all right. Let's try that again, from the beginning. One. I had a friend when I was in high school who had a hella bad stutter. His stutter was like crazy bad. The more irritated he got, or the more excited he got, the worse it got. Because like, he talked perfectly normally as long as he wasn't in any sort of like emotional state. So like as long as he wasn't angry, as long as he wasn't like overly happy, as long as he wasn't, you know, sad or whatever, he wouldn't have it. But if he had like an emotional thing... He starts stuttering, he couldn't hardly get a sentence out. So they're over there. The yellow thing I think is to reset my talents. That's to confirm my party. Oh, that was to leave, never mind. Oh no, it's for the challenges, that's right, I forgot there was a training field over here. Never mind, I don't care about that. As far as level ups go, I think we've got something over here that we can utilize. He's got one point. He's got five points, which is probably important to know. He was working on this thing over here. A weaker energy pulse emanates from Calden three seconds after the first. Speeds up all of his cooldowns. I'm going to say speeds up all of his cooldowns is what I want to go after. And then finally, stomps the ground to conjure a flood that does base damage. Calden gains an aura that gives him damage reduction and absorbs 20% of the damage taken by allies. Uh, that's a little risky, though. 
Let's go with this one. I like the way this is looking, and then as it gets further down the chain, it looks like it buffs people too. For her, she's got four left. Should be easy enough. Creed enemies. Okay, so we want the allies to get the 20% health, and then after casting Creed, we don't have enough. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so we've got Flint Bolt with Tracer Fire. Throw another piece of flint out to the first. Deals half the damage of the first. Slides backwards while throwing. All right. On the road we go. Where to, sir? The Hall of Songs, please. Alright, now I'm out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Sorry for the otherwise silent episode, but there's a lot of chit-chat going on. And I don't want to interrupt it. I never like those channels that like talk over cutscenes and stuff like that. I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for stopping on in. Don't forget to check out the Patreon if you like what I do here on the channel. And I will see you all in tomorrow's episode. Bye, everybody.